Hi guys, this is Duncan from Dunksoap.com. In my last video, I was talking about God Mode for Windows Vista and 7, which was essentially a folder full of settings for Control Panel. Now, on a site talking about God Mode, I noticed a comment by someone talking about the Microsoft Management Console. I haven't used it for a long time. It's usually used by sysadmins, but it works on the same concept where you have a bunch of things that you may use daily uh, all in one place. So let's go ahead and show you it. It's available on XP Vista and 7. Go to Start and then Run and type in MMC. And I'm just going to allow this. And you'll see that not much is happening right now. So all I'm going to do is go to File and then Add slash Remove Snap-in. And you'll see on the left hand side a bunch of available snap-ins. And there's quite a lot here. Some of these you may have heard of before or may not have heard of before so you can tinker with those. But if I go ahead and do Services, I've heard of that one. We're going to say Finish. Ask you if you want to do it on a remote or your own computer. We're going to go for uh, the local computer for this. I'm just going to do some ones that you guys may have heard of. Event Viewer. Okay. And Computer Manager. And we're going to OK that as well. So if I click OK, I now have on the left hand side a bunch of things that you'd usually type things into the run box uh, and you'd end up doing that quite a lot. Um, but they're all in one place. So I've got Device Manager, I've got Services, I've got Computer Management here. And it's all in one place. They obviously have their own little drop downs if you need under their specific category. So that pretty much covers it, to be honest. Uh, if you go to save and put it on your desktop, if I just say stuff I use, and I now have a shortcut on my desktop. If I exit out of this, and I want to save it, yes. Now, when I double click it, click yes. It launches back up and it has everything that I had saved previously, all those snap-ins that are available. If you want to remove one, simply go back into it and then click on one and click remove. So that's about it really. This is Microsoft Management Console. You may not have heard of it. You may have heard of it. If so, let us know about your tips. Uh, if you haven't, then have a look at it. It's pretty good stuff and it's good if you do stuff like this on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's about it really. Thanks for watching this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again.